Welcome to WTSA, the World Telecommunications Standardization Assembly being held here in New Delhi. We are very pleased to be joined by Sriram Anantasayanam, who is a partner in consulting for Deloitte India. Sriram, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure. Now, the reason we've got you here today is because we've got an AI for Good uh, for Impact uh, event happening here. I know that there's a, a very important report being launched, the AI for Good Impact report being launched today. Tell us a little bit about it. The role of uh, AI in furthering the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals cannot be understated. And uh, across the 17 SDGs, as, as we call it, there are specific roles that AI can play to further them. For example, if it's about poverty or healthcare or education or inclusiveness or um, reliability or, or even uh, sustainability specifically, uh, there are very important use cases that are currently happening. Specifically in India, uh, with the national AI mission that is currently underway, uh, government has taken a very clear and important role to further the role of AI in terms of ensuring that India can further its uh, path in the SDGs. From an inclusivity perspective, you know, uh, some use cases would be that we're actually uh, uh, there is a tool or a technology called Bhashini, which allows for speech to text, text to speech across all Indian languages. What it means is that it allows for citizens in the remotest corner of the country to interact with systems, interact without the language barrier. If you look at specific domains like education, personalized learning is something that AI is driving. If you're looking at uh, healthcare, uh, predictive healthcare, so the way we see it is for specifically in the global south, the role of AI in making the life of the citizen without the divide of digital, the role that AI can play to make that life much better is, is what we're looking at and that's the premise for AI for good and that's how SDGs will be driven forward via AI. Tell us a little bit about the collaboration with ITU. How important is that for Deloitte? Uh, you know, you're here for the first time in your regional conference in India. Uh, there are standards bodies, there are multiple government delegations, there are startups, there are academia, established companies, all of them really working together to ensure that some of these things can really, uh, you know, do good for their own enterprise, for their own country, for their own startups. Uh, and when I, if I circle back again to this to topic of AI for good, the fact that this report is getting uh, launched uh, at this conference, which is the first regional conference happening in India, is, is a matter of great importance for Deloitte and specifically for Deloitte in India. What impact do you hope this report will have? This report uh, you know, drives a few things. One, while it talks about uh, what are the use cases for against each of the sustainable development goals uh, that AI has to offer, it also talks about the barriers to adoption. It also gives specific recommendations in terms of what uh, countries, what regulators, what uh, technocrats should do to take it further. So the report is a holistic report in that it sets the premise for AI for good. It talks about various SDGs and what the role of AI it is. And then it takes it further by saying what are the challenges and then gives recommendations to address that. So this report would be a good toolkit in the hands of decision makers, policy makers, regulators to actually promote a countrywide specific agenda and more so in the global south for propagating AI for good. Looking at India in particular, how positive do you see the future for AI here in India? You know, India is a very diverse country. You know, we have uh, more than uh, two handful of languages. Uh, we have multiple dialects. Uh, we are an economy which is uh, uh, you know, really booming on the data revolution. Uh, perhaps the highest per capita data consumption per citizen is, is happening in India driven by the telecom revolution that we have had. So all of this is resulting in an extremely rich set of data that is being delivered and collected under the governance context, under the data privacy uh, trust governance. Uh, the India is really trying to leverage this data to make sure that the quality of life, the ease of life, ease of business for citizens and for business alike is being propelled forward. So the National AI Mission is one such example. Um, the Ministry of Electronics and IT is really working uh, under the guidance of the Honorable Prime Minister to really take uh, AI and some of the emerging technologies uh, and allowing India to leapfrog uh, into the uh, economic goal that India has. 
and also build models because if it works in India at scale, at 1.4 billion scale, it can work anywhere in the world. So building for India, building for scale, or building on AI is a model that we believe can be a replicable model across the world for others to emulate. Finally, we're here at WTSA, the Standardization Assembly. How important are standards with regards to AI? See, AI is all about looking at data and providing insights. Many call it predictive, many call it descriptive, many call it future-looking insights. It's, it's artificial intelligence at the end of the day. So when it is artificial intelligence, it has to be governed by certain standards. It's certain standards in terms of how you harvest the data without impacting uh, privacy. How do you access the data in terms of what access controls and other, uh, other regulations that you need to have? In terms of how you use that data for betterment, and most importantly, when data, large tons of data is getting anonymized and used, how do you make it fit for purpose to ensure that biases that are inherently, because data is human created, if it's human created, there are biases, how do you de-bias it to make sure that the right outcomes can be delivered? So the role of standards in ensuring all of this cannot be understated. Shreenan, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today. Very best of luck with the, the launch of this report and hopefully we'll catch up with you again very soon. Well, thank you so much. Really looking forward to launch the report. Good day. Thank you. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.